So for number one, I'm 21. No lying about that one. That one. Number two, I'm an Aquarius. Um, all of my Aquarius subscribers or followers, leave a heart down below. And for any other signs, leave your signs down below. Um, number three, I've been to two private schools. I went to a private Catholic school between the grades of fourth and seventh, and then I went to a private college, but found out it wasn't really for me. I needed something more my speed, but I did attend two private schools. Number four, I've had guinea pigs, turtles, hermit crabs, fish, and cats in the last five years. I had six guinea pigs. I still have my two turtles. I've had approximately four hermit crabs, um, don't know how many fish, and I've had two cats. Um, number five, I'm adopted. And I was adopted at the age of three. If any of you are adopted, please share your experiences down in the comments below. Number six. My favorite colors are pink, black, and teal. In college, my dorm room was pink, black, and white. Anyone that knows me from there, they definitely knew I was the one with all the snacks. And then on top of that, my room was pink and it was lit. My room right now is teal. I'll eventually do a room tour, but for now, this beautiful blanket as an idea of the color scheme of my room. Number seven. I believe in reincarnation. I believe that anybody could come back as an animal or as a different person or in a different time, you know, all those different types of things. I do believe in reincarnation. Number eight, I am a somewhat social introvert, meaning I enjoy the company of other people. I enjoy other people being around, but it takes more in-depth conversation to really get me to talk. Number nine, I played piano with an instructor from 10 to 14. Um, I started out playing classical and then I ranged out to jazz and some other um, genres. Pretend I still do occasionally play for fun. Number 11. My favorite genres of music to listen to are R&B, rock, country, and hip hop. Number 12. My favorite genres of music to sing are alternative R&B, R&B, jazz, blues, and swing. Number 13, which goes back to one of the other numbers. I have five sisters, biological sisters. So I am the second youngest out of six, but I do in fact have five sisters. Number 14, I value intellect over most other things, which is incredibly true. I like anything that I can argue or debate and for me it could be anything it could be cutting down trees which for me would definitely hit home because I'm a tree hugging hippie nature lover <laughs> so let's use that as an example if somebody were to say hey cutting down trees is helping us provide more homes and more businesses but in reality is it really helping or hurting this planet because by cutting down trees one we're reducing oxygen levels Two, all of the animals that live in those trees, that is their home. You know, um, by cutting down their trees and their homes, we're pushing them to move other places. Is that natural? Is that healthy? That's just an idea of the type of conversations I like. Number 15, I am a dreamer that will reach her dreams. My ultimate dream is to travel, teaching, and helping people, but my dream home is a two-story log cabin house with a balcony on the back, columns on the front. Two out of four of the outside walls, I would prefer them to be brick. I want a garden, because I love life. I would like a garden in the back with a walkway leading into the forest, accompanied by a gazebo. That's my dream, and it's not unreachable. And that's why I say that I am, in fact, a dreamer that will achieve her dreams. Number 16, I have the best aunts and uncles in the world, which is very true. Being adopted comes with lots of things, but one of which includes a huge family. So with each family, there's two sides, but since I am adopted, I have four sides. I love all of my family, but I do have the best aunts and uncles in the world. On my mom's side, Aunt Beth, Uncle David, love you guys out there saving lives. Aunt Beth, you're a lifesaver. On my dad's side, my uncles, they are the best. Like I remember a specific situation in which my car had broken down and they drove up here to help move it back. And to me, I know that they were just thinking, hey, you know, we're helping out our niece. But in my mind, 
I'm the type of person that I cannot sit still if something is not fixed. I'm a slight perfectionist, meaning if there is something I know that needs to be done and it hasn't been completed or something that could be done better and it hasn't been fixed, it bothers me. So them taking the time out of their day to come up here and help me really made me feel loved. Um, another instance, one of my aunts, um, I went and sat down for about an hour and a half and I felt like someone was really trying to see how my day was, see how I've been doing, see what I've been doing, you know, all that type of stuff. All those things that I feel like families are supposed to do, you know, make everybody feel included, make everyone feel loved. Um, number 17, I draw chibi cartoon characters. Watch this. It's one a few years ago and it came out of a how to draw book, which I want to have finished coloring it. I drew, I'm not sure yet if I want that to be ice cream or a cupcake, but I drew that. That's a marshmallow, piece of candy, cotton candy, a lollipop. And I don't know if I want that to be a barrette for this or a butterfly, I haven't decided yet. This one, there's a bit of a story to it. Um, I worked at a daycare and this particular child she saw how I was taking care of the turtle that was at that daycare. Because I have two turtles, I knew how to clean the tank and how to feed it and whatnot. And all of the kids in the daycare, they eventually saw, oh, Miss Camilla's taking care of the turtle. The older kids were calling the turtle grape soda. And the ones that I was working with, the little ones, they called him cookie dough. So I put a bow on there because those were her two favorite colors. And I drew the turtle and a bumblebee. The bumblebee was supposed to represent when she gets older, I want her to fly. You know, I don't want her to feel like anyone is holding her back. I want her to be the most beautiful little black angel on this planet because I know she can. Kids are hyper in nature. She was incredibly smart. And even talking about it, it breaks my heart because I love that little girl. I wanted to see her grow up and become the beautiful black woman that I know she will be. But that's the story behind this one. Number 18, I love anime, musicals, and horror movies. So for anime, I've seen Death Note, K. Hey. I've also seen High School of the Dead. I've seen some of Attack on Titan. I couldn't really get into it, but I think I'm gonna try to watch it again. But I like horror anime or things like my favorite one of all time, Spirited Away or Hanyo. I love those in terms of musicals. I love Mamma Mia, anything Disney related like Mary, well, I don't, I don't think that's Disney, but Mary Poppins or The Lion King, The Little Mermaid, Aladdin. And horror movies, I don't like gory. I like possession because like I said, I believe in spirits. Everybody has their own views on that, but this is just 25 facts about me and I believe in spirits. So with that being said, when it comes to horror movies, I like supernatural possession. Things that in my opinion, I feel could realistically happen. Number 19, I love Harry Potter. Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. Harry Potter, my favorite character was Luna Lovegood, simply because there was a scene that really touched my heart for multiple reasons. But one of which was, it had to have been within the first three movies, three books. Um, by the way, I read, I read all the books, saw all the movies. Um, but it has to have been within the first three books because they were on their way to Hogwarts, Harry and Luna, and they were getting into the carriages that were being moved by these animals, or I forgot the specific name, I'm sorry, Harry Potter lovers out there, but Harry was wondering, why is it no one else can see these creatures? And Luna said, only those that have seen death can see them. Luna was seen as the crazy, the weird one, but if you really think about it, throughout majority of the movies, she was in there, you know, sporadically, but it was always in those serious times. And then for Lord of the Rings, my favorite characters had to have been Gollum, of course, he is the most adorable thing on earth. I had him as my screensaver in high school for at least the first two years. I was I was definitely a nerd. But Gollum's adorable. But, you know, with each of my favorite characters, there's some type of struggle. Gollum, he killed his brother for the ring, and I believe any act that serious can change a person. And, you know, eventually Gollum became a solitary creature. He lived by himself, he ate by himself. He didn't care who he had to school over because he wanted the ring and he wanted to be alone because he felt like the ring was what created love for him. Samwise Gamgee, he mainly went because he wanted to get out of the Shire. 
But in all honesty, I don't know that many people that would do for me, other than my parents and you know, select people that Sam did for Frodo. He was there throughout thick and thin. Yes, they argued, but to really put up with somebody that's seriously going through something like that, you've gotta be strong. And Sam, to me, was that person. Number 20, Harley Quinn from Batman and Raven from Teen Titans are my spirit animals. Raven, she's in a league on all her own. You know, she's got the powers of, I think she can move black matter, meaning she can move whatever but I like her personality mainly you know she doesn't really mess with anybody she I would say to a certain extent she's an introvert because she lets you know enough to where you have a generalized idea but not enough to really get into her head but then at the same time there's no one on the team that she would not help and then Harley Harley's got a little bit of a different story. I know I'm gonna hear it in the comments about how Harley and uh, the Joker had a toxic relationship, which in reality they did. You know, it turned Harley from being sweet, lovable nurse, I believe, to turning into someone crazy and all those things. But in reality, the experiences that we have in life truly mold us into what we will be. Now, do I believe that Harley was a bad character no we all have our flaws we all have things that we you know excel on but I like her personality her demeanor she's crazy and funny she always brings that life that light to it number 21 I tried to join the military <laughs> fun fact um, even though the army has my heart uh, I tried to join the Navy, Navy Reserves to be exact. I wanted to be an EOD tech, Explosive Ordnance Disposal Technician, which is kind of funny because the majority of the people I told, they told me, Camilla, you want to get blown up for a living? No, I want to prevent that from happening, also known as Explosive Ordnance Disposal Technician. <laughs> um, number 22, I've visited eight states and one island. Um, all of which was before the age of 14. So the island one, I don't remember, it was Cayman Island. Um, and the eight states will include New York, Philadelphia, Illinois, Florida, Texas, North Carolina, South Carolina, and there's one more, I cannot remember. <laughs> 23. This one is a little bit of a tougher topic for some. It's the first time I've, I guess, spoken publicly about it. I'm not gonna go in depth about it. You know, if you guys want to, you can put it in the comments. Maybe we should do a story time on it. But number 23, I've dealt with domestic abuse. I was in a relationship with someone, um, and me being the person that I am, I like to help people regardless of if I can or not, you know. It's always been my dream to help those that can't help themselves. You know, even if I can't completely help myself. <laughs> but um, I was a victim of domestic abuse. I don't consider myself a victim anymore because best believe that's not going to happen one way or another. It's just not going down like that. But, you know, there are certain things that happen then that occasionally affect me now. But I'm getting better with it. The, the ribbon for this is purple. So in October, I will probably be doing a video on domestic violence awareness and things of that nature. I might also include some links um, of websites that I would recommend to any women or men dealing with um, domestic violence and things of that nature. It is a hard topic for a lot of people to seek help on and you know seek guidance. But you know I may be young, but I will be doing a video on that. Number 24, the forest is my happy place. I will have to say out of all the places I've been to, whether it be theme parks or beaches, the forest and parks and whatnot, those are always my happy places. I, I feel the safest thing. Number 25, I love new friends. And that's one of the reasons why I created this YouTube page, to meet new people, gain new experiences, 
and learn new things and meeting new people is one of my outlets to doing so. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Please definitely leave comments down below as to what videos you would love to see next and subscribe. I will see you guys next video. Bye.